71 years ago, four young airmen took off from Patricia Bay Airport near Victoria on a navigation training exercise. They never returned from that trip. Seven decades later, three forestry engineers from the Teal Jones Company stumbled upon the wreckage of the last Anson. They called the authorities, but because of bad weather at the site and the snow cover, it took a further six months before the investigation could begin. The aircraft began striking the treetops. I'm standing here by part of the left wing. And uh, by this point, the airplane would not have been flying anymore. And the fuselage continued down the slope here. We're on about a 45 degree slope. And I can see just in the distance here where the, uh, the coroners are working on the site and uh, meticulously working their way through it to look for the remains of the, the four air crew members. It's really rare to find a site that's been untouched and that hasn't been salvaged and people haven't been through it. Mm -hmm. To see a site like this, which really, I think the loggers are the first people to come across it. So it's extraordinary to see something like that. We're making a documentary about the loss and discovery of this airplane and we're looking for support, financial support, which you can pledge through this site. It's our wish that through this documentary, we celebrate the lives of not only these four young airmen, but indeed the lives of more than 100 Commonwealth airmen who gave their lives or training on and around Vancouver Island during the Second World War.